Good morning, everyone. For morning meeting today, I thought we'd start with a story. This is Not Quite Narwhal. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's, and he had different tastes in food. Like they're all eating squid or octopus and Kelp's going, ugh, because unicorns don't eat squid or octopus. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't mind either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. Oh no, there he goes. I wish I were a better swimmer, he says. Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean before. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. It wasn't. So first, Kelp tries to walk sideways like a crab, and he goes, oof. And then he tries to hop like a frog. Ow! Eventually, he got the hang of it. So then he tried to walk nice and slow like a turtle, and it worked. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, land narwhals! Actually, we're unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you! Kelp was nervous, or Kelp had never heard of a unicorn before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow! They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. That's a unicorn. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. The unicorns say, come back soon. Little crab and kelp are waving. Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. But he's always been a unicorn, right? So if they're really friends, it shouldn't matter. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. That means he's nervous. And they, look, the narwhals have a sign that says, Welcome home, Kelp! Look how excited they are to see each other. Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the big news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm actually a unicorn. Yeah, we all knew that. They took it quite well because they're really friends, so it doesn't matter. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Look, look what he's drawing. He's drawing a unicorn. He's drawing a narwhal. He can't, can't figure it out. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? Or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then he realized that maybe, just maybe, he didn't have to choose. Oh my goodness, look at this. They're all having so much fun together. Now everybody's friends. I love it. Oh my gosh, look. They turned one of the unicorns into a narwhal in the sand. So cute. And then the unicorns are using their tusks as, uh, or horns, I don't know, as, to, as sticks to roast marshmallows. So funny. 
Okay, and then there's one last funny part on the back page. The rhinoceros says, I'm a unicorn. And Kelp goes, um, oh, such a funny book. All right, let's do some calendars. So this is gonna be calendar for Thursday, all right? Thursday calendar. It looks like yesterday was March 25th. So what would today be if yesterday was 25? If you don't know, you can always count to find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So today would be 26, March 26. So 26 is a two and a six. We'll put that in for today. And then to figure out the day of the week on a calendar, you point to the date and then you go up, 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 up. It starts with a TH. We know TH makes a th, th sound, like thumb, th, th, thumb. And the day of the week that starts with a th sound is Thursday. So if today is Thursday, we know yesterday must be Wednesday. If today's Thursday, we know tomorrow must be Friday, right? Okay, let's do our weather. The season is spring. The weather is, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be, it depends on what time you watch the video, but I think warm and sunny today, okay? So maybe you can play in your yard a little bit, maybe find some native plants in your yard if you have any, if the weather's nice. And I'm gonna move my arrow over here down to Thursday and let's do a pattern. So the pattern today, uh, first let's do it by shape and then we can do it by, let's see, we'll do it, maybe we'll just do it by letter and number today. Okay, but shape first. We have triangle, 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 star. Triangle, 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 star. Okay, so it's triangle, 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 star. That's our pattern. What pattern do you think that would be by letter? What kind of A, B pattern would that be by letter? Can you figure it out? Let's see. A, 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 B. A, 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 B. So what would come next? A, 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 B would be next. What kind of pattern would this be by number? If you were gonna figure out the pattern by number, what do you think? It would be one, 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 two. One, 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 two. And then a one would be next. All right, let's do months of the year. I know you can't see the ones at the top, sorry. It's March this month, so that's the third month of the year. We have January, February, March. That's the third month of the year. So if this month is March, we know next month is April. All right, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. December is the last month of the year. Okay, for journals today, journals is next on the schedule after calendar. Find uh, the journal page and the prompt is already written on there. The date's already written there for you this week. It should say March 26, 2020 at the top. Try to figure out what this sentence says, the journal prompt. You can ask for your parents for help if you need to. And then with a pencil, write in lowercase letters. Make sure that you're using your best handwriting in the lines. Make sure there's spaces between words. Um, finish the sentence. Try to finish it by yourself. It doesn't have to be spelled right. Just try to sound it out and do the best you can. And then make sure there's a period at the end of your sentence or an exclamation point. And then you can do an illustration at the top with, your, with some colors. And after that, I believe you're gonna do some math. 